Local breweries and tap houses are on the defense over a new bill. The legislation creates a state office of alcohol beverage enforcement or a liquor czar as it's become known. And many are afraid that this will change the way business is done. Tom Durian spoke with a local tap owner or tap room owner who's concerned about this potential new position. Yeah, guys, it's not the first time we've heard about this. Uh, we talked about it. A similar proposal was snuck into the budget negotiations last June, but it didn't get any votes. So now after a fresh rewrite, it is back. This is the second time in, you know, nine months that uh, legislation has come up without us being consulted. Our biggest fear is the uncertainty of what, what it would bring. Jackson Borgard co-owns Eagle Park Brewery with his business partner Jake and brother Max. While Max was in Madison testifying before the committee on Senate Bill 801, Jackson was telling us why they're opposed to it. We're planning on creating at least 15 jobs in this next year. Could they be at risk? Could we be at risk of, of, of you know, losing all that? Work on their new space is already underway, and they think the new bill calling for an Office of Alcohol Beverage Enforcement puts everything in jeopardy. This person would have ultimate authority answering only to the governor um, to decide how to interpret laws, create laws, and enforce them. A similar bill last June called for manufacturers like Eagle Park to be prohibited from selling their own product. The new bill excludes that language. We would not be around very long without our taproom or self distribution. The bill's author, Republican Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald, has said it's necessary because, quote, it's the wild, wild west when it comes to alcohol regulation and how the product is moved. Well, today's public hearing in Madison received an overwhelmingly negative response, but the bill does move forward to a committee vote tomorrow before possibly moving on to the full Senate. Charles, Shannon. All right, Tom, thanks.